Today marks one year since Conway firefighter Chris Ray was killed in the line of duty. You may remember March 20th, 2016. Chris was run over by a fire truck while responding to a house fire on Hickory Circle. For the first time, though, we sat down for an exclusive interview with the chief and sergeant of the Conway Fire Department. It wasn't easy for either of them to talk about the day that changed their lives and the department forever, but they hope by sharing Chris's story that no one will ever forget him. Engine 52, firefighter Christopher Jean Ray, tax three. Having heard no response from firefighter Christopher Jean Ray. 365 days have gone by. They gave us a ride to the scene. But time hasn't passed fast enough. And we got out of the rig and. To heal all wounds. I was walking up and all the guys they turned towards us and um, <clears throat> firefighter Drew walked up to me and I just said, who was it? And that's when he said, yeah, it's Chris. The Conway Fire Department was responding to a house fire trying to maneuver the truck to reach a fire hydrant down the street. That's when authorities say firefighter Chris Ray fell off the back of the truck and was run over as it reversed. The neighbor actually screamed. I said, you know, why is the neighbor screaming? So I started walking that way and one of our firemen was running across the yard. I said, you know, I was trying to process why this lady's screaming, why is the fireman running across the yard? Because we don't normally react like that. And uh, I started walking that way and I was halfway across the field and um, he yelled back, something's wrong. And I said, well, what happened? He said, he's, he's been run over. And I said, who? And he said, Chris. Conway Fire Chief Lee Hendricks says time seemed to stop. I had, had, a, had a moment I had to really calm myself down. I said, because I've got to keep this crowd, not just the firemen, the, the, the public this gathering. You know, I had to keep these, these people kind of at bay. So, and not to mention this house is literally burning to the ground. Authorities launched an investigation to try to figure out how Chris ended up under the wheels of the truck. But that's an unanswered question that went to the grave with the beloved firefighter. There's, there's a few seconds that we just don't know what happened. And that's something that I think haunts a lot of us. We don't know those few seconds. Um, we've interviewed all the witnesses, we've talked to you know, all the parties involved, and nobody knows in that couple of seconds what exactly happened. So it's still, it plays on my mind every day, you know, what could we have done to prevent it? And what could we have done to help not let this happen again? And I don't know what the answer is. It was a moment that forced some to leave the job. We lost two men that day. Somebody was, uh, one of my brothers was operating the vehicle and he hasn't been back. For those who have stayed, the past year has brought more light than darkness. These brothers in fire now hold close the coins that remind them of their friend, remembering Chris, who was known for his jokes and playfulness. Come in, he says, Chief, I got something to ask you. It's important. I was like, oh my gosh, what is, where is this going? And he had like the most serious look on his face. And he walked up to my desk and he just stood there and he just shook his head. And I was like, what is it? And he reached in his pocket and he goes, you got your challenge coin? <laughs> For those in the fire industry, you always carry your challenge coin. And if you're called out by a fellow firefighter and caught without yours, you owe him a drink. Um, there was a real big push after the funeral, people wanting, they you know, probably lost their challenge coin. I probably had 10 requests that day. Well, can I get another challenge coin? I need one. And I bet if you went to anybody in the station right now, they'd have it in their pocket, which is pretty awesome because he had his in his pocket the day he died. Our thanks to the fire department there and Caitlin Stansel and editor George Umbenauer for putting that together. Chief Hendrick, by the way, says losing Chris was a wake up call for the entire department, causing, causing them to be more vigilant about safety on the job, but also drawing them closer together as a family.
Well, a big time spring warm up on the way, plus your next risk of showers all coming up next in my first alert forecast.